Okay, so I discovered something the other day using a background image on Google Sites, and I wanted to make a video for this uh, while I still have it fresh in my mind because this is uh, just such a cool thing. So um, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a how to take a large background image and uh, paste it in the the background of your website, and there, I'm going to show you some of the options that Google Sites gives you. And I don't know if they always did this or if this is something new, but uh, I certainly found it kind of exciting. So a little bit of background. Usually when I use background images on my websites, I actually use a small image that repeats over and over. So for example, if you look at the background of this website, there's a blue texture. And that's actually a very small picture that's about 100 by 100 pixels. And I paste it in, and the same place I'm going to paste the other picture in is where I would put this in, and then it just repeats over and over, and that's what gives me this background. Because the problem with background images is uh, the size of your web page is different for each different page, and how do you adjust and make sure that your background is the same, no matter whether your web page is big or small. And uh, what I discovered the other day is I realized that I could do the same thing with a very large image and there's certain ways that I can adjust it to adjust for that variable, which was very cool. So let's go ahead and, and get to this. Um, what you're looking at here is, uh, I, I call this the ski plate chem template demo because the, the theme that I use in Google Sites is the ski theme. It's one of the newer themes they have. It's a very modern look and what I like about this is it doesn't really have a separate header. You can see the search this site. Um, notice that the background color is the same color as what's on the header and that's a perfect one to use for a large background image. So if you're going to do this, I would recommend using the ski theme. So let's go ahead and get to uh, pacing the image. So the first thing that I did is I found a very large image and the image I'm going to be uh, using is the background. It's a, I, I did a skyline of LA and uh, I thought it looked really cool. It went perfect with this. And uh, so you want to get a large image so, so it looks good because this is going to be a big I, I recommend using something that's at least 1200 pixels wide. Mine was at 1400 and that worked just fine. So uh, whenever you're doing anything for a background image, you go into the, the settings and you go to manage site. And then you go to themes, colors. And in order to, to put an image in back of your web page, you start in the default landing, which is the entire page. My computer's working very slow today. And uh, it, it's what you're going to use is wrapper image. You probably can use image too. I'm not really sure what the difference between the, these two are. They seem to work the same way. But I'm just going to use wrapper image today. And uh, that's what I've been using for, for most of my background images. So like when you look at this website, same thing. It's the wrapper image. So I'm going to click on this. That allows me to attach a picture. And uh, again, mine is LA Skyline. So I have to go to... Uh, I got a lot of pictures in this file. Go to LA Skyline. There we are. And again, something is going on with my computer. It's making it work very slow today. <laughs> so you should have been able to see the, the thumbnail, that, but for whatever reason, we can't. OK, now, so. And, and again, this was something that I had done before, and it didn't work the way I wanted, and I shied away from it. I want you to notice that it says options up here. So for right now, I'm just going to save. They give you a little preview thing, but you really can't tell what's going on in that preview bar. So if you want to see what something looks like when you do it, you click Save, and then you go back to your, by hitting the name of your site, it goes back to your home page, and you see that. So, okay, that looks somewhat decent. Um, the only thing is, that's a fairly small web page. So I'm going to go in just to really see what this is really going to look like. I'm going to make my web page big. So the way to do this, I'm not, I'm not putting anything in yet. I'm just going to click enter a lot. And there we are. Okay, now I click save again. And I did this because I wanted to show you something. You, you're going to notice right away something's wrong. Okay, problem. We've got this large web page, and do you notice that the picture repeats itself? So that doesn't look good. We've got to fix that. So in order to fix that, you go back into Manage Site. And, and actually, going back to the repeating thing, that's exactly what's going on here. I have a little picture that repeats itself over and over and over, but you don't see it because it's identical. It's an identical, just looks like one large 
picture, but it's not. It's actually, you know, who knows how many little pictures. So now I go back to Themes, Colors, Fonts. You do this too if you use an image in your header. Um, you'll have to adjust the options to make it repeat itself. So now I go into Options, and I'm going to choose No Repeat. I'll go ahead and line it up left. You can choose center and all this. Now, I want you to notice these two things down here, fixed position, stretch to cover. For right now, I'm not going to mess with that. But this was the thing that I discovered the other day. Very cool. So uh, going back. So what I did is I made sure it doesn't repeat. Oh, wow. Looks great. Everything worked perfect. Not really. <laughs> See, my problem was my page is too large. So that didn't work. So what can I do? And this is where this is why a long time ago when I tried to use a few big pictures, I shied away from it because I don't know if they had the options and I didn't know about them or if I just didn't or if they didn't have them. I'm not sure, but I did this once or twice and I, I thought this doesn't really work for me and I couldn't find a picture that was big enough to to work with what I'm doing, but you don't have to now. So or maybe you never had to. I don't know. You go back again. We're going to go back to themes, colors, fonts. Always the landing is the entire page. Now, going back to options, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do stretch to cover. I'm going to click save. We're not going to finish with this, but I want to show you what this looks like too. So, notice now that I have a background image the entire page, but do you see the distortion here? What it's done is it's stretched to cover this and it's distorted my image. So that was not a very good option to use. Luckily, it's not our only option. So now we go back to Manage Site. And again, when I discovered this the other day, it made me very happy because uh, now I'm probably going to use this a lot more knowing what I know. And this, I wanted to make this video because there's, I'm sure there's other people out there like me who didn't know how to do this before. And when I discovered this, I thought, wow, this opens up a whole new world for me because generally I've shied away from using large images in the background. No more. I'm going to unclick stretch and I'm going to click fixed position. And actually, what, what kind of made me do this is I was looking at a WordPress site and they had a background image and somehow it didn't move when you move the page. And I thought, I wonder if Google does that. Wouldn't that be cool if they did? And that's what caused me to come in and, and experiment with this. So now I click Save. Go back to this. Now, top always looked good no matter which way I did it. Do you notice that the background isn't moving? The front of the page is but the back is not. doesn't distort my image size. I have this clear, beautiful image, and it won't matter what size my page is. Whether I have a small page, large page, it's not going to change the background image at all. And again, that site was fixed image. And I'll go back one more time just so you see this. This is huge. So basically now, if I'm going to use, a, you know, if I'm going to build a site and I want to do a large background image, I'm always going to use this option. So again, just so you see this, You go to Manage Site, Themes, Colors, Font, and of course you attach that picture. And the option that you want to choose is No Repeats, and you want to choose Fixed Position. You do that, it's going to look fantastic, and you can use whatever image you want. Maybe you want a big uh, uh, landscape image, background. You know, I've got uh, like this nice screensaver back here on my on my computer. You know, you could do something like that as the background for your web page. Sky's the limit. I do suggest you use big pictures because they're going to look better. So when you're when you're finding images, you want to look for things that are nice and wide and tall, and uh, you do that and you use that fixed image and look how nice that looks. Isn't that a nice, uh, clean-looking website? So I I hope that this video has been helpful, and uh, I'm probably going to write up some kind of a description of this on my website. Uh, if you want to find more tutorials. Uh, this is my web virtual classroom workshop. If you go to Google, you can find that. And I put my tutorials on a page called Vir Virtual Classroom Tips. Really, it's a Google site tutorial, but I'm a teacher and I uh, build this stuff for teachers. So 
I, I always think of that and I've got a whole bunch of these on here this is an announcement page so um, if you want to find more of these and you found this useful this is where to find them and I'll probably put this link on my uh, YouTube video as well take care hope, hope that you found it helpful